Hello and welcome to a new series of videos for kilting which will involve um, actually designing, building and painting your own kilting. For this video I highly recommend you have the core manual for kilting. Uh, in this book it contains everything you need to create your own um, army. Uh, I also highly recommend a cup of your favourite beverage and some form of chocolate. Today I'm eating a Terry's chocolate orange. And what you'll need to do is decide on your kill team to begin with. So, for example, um, I have on the table just here uh, Death Guard, who are getting there with painting, and they're obviously built. Um, but I fancy something different, and I want to try Necrons. So Necrons are an interesting idea as a character. As you can see by the glorious picture, they are metal. Um, and these guys effectively conquered the universe and then went to sleep for hundreds of thousands of years and have woken up. To find out that um, plenty of other people who aren't Necrons have taken over the universe. And so they're a bit unhappy about this. And they are going to, well, take it back over. Uh, so I love the idea behind them that they are millions of years old. Um, in the Kill Team book, you get a bit of blurb. And you also get some background stuff. So uh, I could create a actual background for my characters, for my uh, for my kill team I should say, a mission, in this case a glorious task, and a quirk, which for this is Gift of the Aeons. And these can help you with the kind of backstory behind your kill team. You know, what are they about? Why, why are they there? Um, for me, uh, I have already had a flick through this, um, I want to go with a kill team who are using a gift of the Aeons called Aetherflux. These warriors have slipped slightly out of sync with time and flicker in and out of reality like a mirage. So I've got an idea for a paint scheme in mind already. As soon as I read that, I had that moment of this would be really cool. So even though I'm going to... Um, build my characters in a certain way. I've got an idea on how they're going to look because of the um, the squad quirk. Now most of the times they are just metal looking and that, that's about it. You can add colours to them obviously, um, but I want something a little bit more interesting. So that's my idea for the, um, the quirk. Um, I could also decide on a task. Um, so, as an example, punishment detail. These warriors have failed their overlord in some way and, on his whim, have been sent on a desperate mission to atone or be destroyed. So that could be their tasks. They've displeased their overlord, um, who is a, enemy, uh, enemy? a Necron commander. Uh, and in a separate video, later on, we will talk about commanders because I actually have the, the, the Necron overlord in this little box here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hide that because I don't want you to see it just yet. Um, so there will be a video on commanders later on, um, but they could have ancient origins as well. Um, so let's go with this. They were um, chosen, handpicked warriors. Uh, the, the elite guard and finest agents of their overlord. So that was their origin. However, they displeased their overlord and are now having to atone. And they've also slipped slightly out of sync with time. Um, so I like that. That sounds like a, a task for my Necrons. Um, you can pick demeanors for your specialists. I'm hoping that this is actually visible. Um, the lighting, unfortunately, is not perfect. I am I'm sorry for that. Um, but you can pick... Uh, demeanors for your specialists so um, for example you could have a specialist 
as I say, a, a gunner who's obsessive. Whatever this warrior does, they do repeatedly to violent excess. Um, so, it's, again, it's just a way of giving some personality to your characters, you might say. This guy, if he decides to attack someone, he's going to attack them till they are dead. Uh, and you've also got a name generator. Now, you can pick these yourself. You can uh, create them yourself, should you wish. However, if you do not have the, the want or the inclination, um, you can use this book using a D10, which is a 10-sided die, um, and you can roll and see what comes up. Same with the names. So I've, I've got a name for every single one of my kill team um, for the five kill teams I've created so far. And all of them I've just used the name generator and found out some names that I like. Um, we'll come back to this page. Um, but this is where it starts getting a bit more interesting. Now I'm going to start off today uh, by creating uh, the basis for my kill teams. So I've got a choice of uh, four options. Let's check there's none on the other page. Yeah, so four options. A Necron Warrior, an Immortal, a Flayed One, and a Death Mark. Now, just very quickly glancing at this, all of them have a five inch movement. Now, all of them have a weapon skill of a three plus. Uh, all have a ballistic skill of three, except for a flayed one, which has six, but that doesn't matter because they don't have guns. They have claws, and we'll come back to those in a little bit. Uh, all of them have a strength of four, toughness of four, one wound, one attack, ten leadership. Um, the death mark and the immortal have a save of three. The necron warrior and the flayed one have a save of four. And all of them have reanimation protocols. When an injury roll is made for this model on an unmodified roll of six. The model is not taken out of action, does not suffer a flesh wound, and is instead restored to one wound remaining with no flesh wounds. So when you are about to die, you can be brought back to life um, completely healed. So very, very powerful. But that will uh, impact their points. Um, all of these could be leaders, should I choose. Uh, several of them can be comm specialists. All of them can be veterans. Deathmark can be a sniper, which could be really useful. Uh, Flyed one can be a zealot, as can an immortal. Um, but we'll come back to the kind of specialists later. Um, what we need to do to start with is to start deciding who's going to be what. So, on the following page, we have all of the weapons. Uh, ranged and melee, and the actual kill team itself with the points values. Now in a standard kill team you have 100 points. Um, so just going to my death guard for a moment. Um, a standard death guard space marine such as this fella here, he is worth 14 points. So not a lot of points, you can you can have a, quite a few of these. Okay. If I decided to bring in one of my hulking nightmares, who are, well, big and hulking and nightmarish, and if you want to compare sizes, uh, yeah, he's, he's quite a bit bigger. In fact, his, his hand is over this guy's head. Um, he's 32, uh, 31 points. So I could have two of these for the price of one of these. Um, so it depends on how you want to build your kill team. So, the way I want to start building my kill team is by looking at the points. Now, a death mark is 15 points, a flayed one is 10 points, an immortal is 16, and a necron warrior is 12. Um, now, I have a set of necron immortals, which I can build as death mark, and we're going to build those together. Um, so, the immortals are 16 points, the death mark are 15 points. All the weapons are free for these models. Usually, they cost points. Um, in this case they don't. So I need to find out what the difference is between an immortal and a death mark. So let's have a look. Um, an immortal is equipped with a gauze blaster. This model may replace its blaster with a Tesla carbine. So let's jump in straight and have a look at those. So we've got a gauze blaster uh, which is 24 inch range, rapid fire 1, 5 strength, 2 armor piercing, 1 damage so pretty decent or i can replace it with a tesla carbine which is 24 inch range assault two uh one strength uh, one strength five strength 
No armor piercing, one damage, but it has an ability. Each hit roll of six with this weapon causes three hits. So they don't get armor piercing. They have the same strength, same damage. The carbine could cause three hits instead of one. So it could cause three damage instead of one. Um, and it's an assault weapon. Now, assault weapons, um, if you um, run, you can then shoot them. So that's pretty good. And it's an assault two, so I get two shots. With a gauze blaster, it's rapid fire one. So at half range, so 12 inches, I'd be able to do two attacks. But if it's more than 12 inches, I'm not going to be able to do attacks. Whereas the Tesla Carbine, I will definitely be able to do two attacks. So that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'll ponder that. I'll ponder that. While we have a look at the Death Mark, uh, which is armed with a Synaptic Disintegrator, which sounds very epic. So let's have a look at that. 24-inch uh, range. Rapid Fire 1. Strength of 4. Armor Piercing of 0. Damage of 1. So already it's not looking as good. However, a model firing a synaptic dis, uh, disintegrator does not suffer the penalty to hits for targeting um, a model at long range. So that's good. So I'm not making it harder to hit. Each time you roll a wound roll of six for this weapon, the target suffers a mortal wound in addition to any other damage. So they're going to take one wound uh, for the damage, for the standard damage. Uh, which they can save, but they will also have a mortal wound which they cannot save. So that's really interesting. So, what I think I'm going to do is, in my set of immortals, which you'll see shortly, I can make five models. So what I might do is do two death mark. And three immortals. And what I might do with the immortals is have um, two with a gauze blaster and one with a carbine. So that way I've got kind of a, a, a good mix. And uh, one of the things with your kill team is it's a hundred points, but you can have up to twenty models in your your roster. With your roster, you can pick those models depending on what you're doing. Um, so if I needed a bit more firepower. I could take certain models um, over others. Uh, because it doesn't cost me anything with the points, it makes sense for me to build them these ways. Um, flayed ones are 10 points, so I could fill out any extra gaps with those. They are melee only. Um, however, they're quite fun. I like the models um, for a very gross reason. Um, as you probably figured out by the Death Guard, and uh, for those people who were here last year, all the um, the zombies and the skeletons, all that kind of thing. I like things that are a bit a bit gross. And the flayed ones, um, if you're squeamish, I'd stop watching this video at this point. Um, the idea of a flayed one is that when they kill somebody, they strip their skin and wear it like a coat. Um, and those models are particularly gross because they are wearing the skin off people, uh, which is, you know, I find brilliant. I really like that idea. Uh, in fact, there's, there's there's kind of one at the bottom of the page. I'm not sure if you can see that at all, um, but the kind of idea is that he's got a bit of flesh draped over him. Uh, and in fact, one of the um, origins... Number eight, ghoulish nightmares. This kill team consists of ghastly flesh-draped necrons who spread terror among the enemy ranks. So if you did that, you could just have an army of uh, flayed ones. Uh, uh, ten points each. That's a decent amount of uh, amount of figures running at you, wanting to skin you. Um, so lots of tactical ideas from these. Um, so yes, what I think I'm going to do is build... Um, three Immortals and two Death Mark with different weapons uh, for the Immortals. So that way that I have I have some options for when I when I play. Um, and at some point we'll build some uh, Flayed Ones and Necron Warriors as well. So the Necron Warriors um, are just armed with a Gauze Flayer, 
which is 24 inch range, rapid fire one, strength of four, one armor piercing, one damage. So similar to the blaster, but not quite as powerful. Um, I say the the flared ones are nice and easy. There, they've just got claws and they 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 tear people apart. Um, huzzah! So I think I have my idea for my kill team. Uh, using the book and the next stage will be to start building the models. So in our next video We will begin actually building the figures for our kill team. Thank you very much for watching